Hello. We're back real quick. So I want to I want to show you this. This is how way I'd like to do the dura rock. I like to come up at least six feet. And so if you notice, I'm a short guy. I'm not quite six feet tall. But I like to do this at least six feet up all the way around. This is a three by six stood up. This is a three by six stood up. And this is five foot, okay, five foot one inch. So this is one three by five and that's one three by five. So it's, it covers with two three by sixes and two three by fives. And look at it, it's bevel to bevel, bevel to bevel. I, I have them put the, the backing right there. The, the tile is going to go past this a little bit. So the tile is going to be coming right past here. And that's what you want. You want the tile to go past the, the, the thing. And the tile is going to come right to the edge here. So this will be tiled right to the edge. I will corner bead this though. I will put some corner bead on. But I like to take this with Dura. This is that's what fiberglass mesh tape was made for. Dura rock. Dura rock, drive it, things like that. With the hard, hard mud, the you know, a lot of people call it hot mud. I like to call it Durban, but the hard stuff, the good stuff. But I found that the uh, that the uh, fiberglass mesh doesn't stick too great. So I like to hit it with a little bit of spray glue first. And now I can take my fiberglass mesh tape, and again, remember I like the stuff with the crisscrosses in it. And I like to take that. He was trying to focus in on a little quick form. And then stick it on. So now I can stick this stuff on. And it, and it sticks really well when I hit, hit it with the spray glue. And then when I pre-fill, because again, I love to pre-fill everything. And when I pre-fill everything, I will make sure that I pre-fill this too. Now, I won't touch this seam. This seam is left for the tile guys. He'll do this one. He's got, uh, he's got some stuff that he rolls over the top of this before he tiles. But, but I like to do this for him. A couple of reasons is I like it, I like it so he's got a nice, smooth, uh, flat, even surface. So if this is off at all, I can float this in so his tile can go nice and flat. So he really likes it when I do that. And, uh, and when I put the corner bead on, I will put one coat of Durban on this. And then that way it's, it's nice and flat and it makes it easy for him to tile. Look at this. This right here, he's got a, a beveled edge to a cut edge of drywall, and there's a big lip here. I mean, tile is not going to work well here, but when I mud this in with Durban and I float this out, his tile will work really well. So this guy is a really, really good tile guy. Um, you walk into his bathrooms and it's just like, wow, what's, what's up? This bathroom looks really good, and it's because of his tile work, not because of the drywall work. You guys have a good day. Hey, if you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.